things. And we ain't even have the things on that list. He gotta be a family man. She may talk to your mama in six months, but you want him to be a family man. He gotta be financially stable. You're counting us in the negative, ma'am. Overdraft fees. He gotta have a job. You need to go fill out some applications because you're still unemployed. He gotta have pretty teeth. You ain't seen a dentist in six years. He gotta have a six pack and be in shape. You can't even walk up a flight of stairs without upping and puffing. Get your life together. This whole list that he gotta be, you ain't even have the things on that list. So this is what I challenge you to do. So we can manifest love all 2021. Make that list of that perfect dream man that you got in your mind. Then, huh, what I did, make a list of the type of woman he would need right by his side. You want him to be in shape? You need to get to the gym. Equally yoked. You want him to be financially stable? Well, you need to start saving. Because you can't keep a dime to your bank. You want him to be a family man? Call your mama. You become a family woman. Heal your traumas before you put all this shit on him. You want him to be patient. The patience is thin. You want him to be understanding. You're the least understanding person in your circle of friends, but he gotta be understanding. Fix you. Fix you. Whatever you want, become that. Ugh. He gotta be in shape. You eat chips every day. You heal. Become the person we want to attract. This is SOS. I'm Squish. We out of here. We got a nice juice here. What is it? I'm Squish. This is SOS. I'm Squish. I'm Smitty. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Also leave a comment down below. Even if we're trash only y'all. We are back again with Derek Jackson diving in and doing selling that hope. That BMB! If you didn't see on the first part right there on the video, B Simone kind of dropped some knowledge right there about what women need to do to try to get the men that they want. But he Derek Jackson always got that response. He came to save the day. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna roll ahead and roll some beautiful B footage. Y'all will probably see me pausing on comments that I got I'm getting mad at him for saying, but here we go with the accountability thing where he comes in to deflect anything that's said. But here we go, guys. So quite a few of y'all tagged me in this video asking what my thoughts were, if I agree. And let me just say real quick, yes, I do agree with her overall premise. I could have done without some of the things B Small was saying, but she's an actress and a comedian, so maybe that's why I don't want to be nitpicky. Overall, what I got from what she was saying was that man or woman, but especially women here, specifically women, if you want a man of a certain caliber, of a certain level, then you need to be on that level, something comparable, or bring something to the table that complements what he brings to the table. You know, if you want a boss then, or somebody who has the bag, and be able to flip that bag, be able to grow that bag, manage that money, etc. You can't be looking for an asset when you're a whole liability. Like that's, again, man or woman, but here we're talking about women. You, you, you shouldn't be looking for a man in which you will be a downgrade for him. You will be a step back from him. That's just what it is. But that's the problem I think we have in our society. Nobody wants to be realistic anymore. Everybody thinks they're a 10 and think they're an upgrade when the truth is, it's not the truth. Like me and Smitty, I was having a phone. Shouts out, Eddie. We was having yeah. a phone, joking around on, on a phone call. And I told him, yeah, man, that's like I walk in and do a loop of somebody sitting at the park. Bro, they don't want my broke ass. <laughs> and I'm okay with admitting that. Yeah. I'm very realistic when it comes to stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It sounds mean. It sounds harsh. But like I said, that's how I show is reality. The truth the truth is cold and harsh, first off. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah, it's harsh. It, it's harsh. And it doesn't care about your feelings. No. It just don't. Hey. Uh, B. Simone and Derrick Jackson. Well, Derrick Jackson. Let me say this part. Uh, when you're listening to this, he's throwing jabs at certain uh, content creators. I'm not going to say their names. Uh, the other part, too, he makes valid points, but then he's going to make points. He's like, here we go with the BMB again. Yeah. He's a genius, though. I will give him that. He started out okay. That's why I even tell him. I don't think Derrick Jackson is dumb. I think he's, he, he sells simpery to people. Stop. It's accountability on both sides, bro. Mm -hmm. It can't be all the man's all the bomb all the time. No. Some of these chicks be bombs, too. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, a lot of these chicks be bombs. Mm -hmm. I admit when a dude's a bomb. Like, ah, dude's a loser. Mm -hmm. I, but, yeah, man. Every, little princess is walking around be a loser, too, sometimes. Yes. 
I, yes. That's all it comes down to. I guess we're gonna let him pedal some more of this BMB. Yeah. Beta male bull. Well, I found interesting was a lot of the feedback was from women who were agreeing, and that seemed to come as a shock to a lot of guys. That's our dudes comment stuff like, oh, y'all want to hear this truth when it comes from us because we be saying it all the time. We've been saying it because it's coming from a woman. Now y'all want to hear it. And I'll just speak from observation that I don't think that's quite the case. I don't think women have as much of a problem with the truth as people say. I think a lot of women have a problem with the truth is being misused as a weapon or a device of degrading them or cutting them down or attacking their self-esteem. Or that women have a problem whenever the whole, this, this truth right here is being misapplied to the exact opposite of what this girl is talking about. Be Once again, that is your idea. That's that lyrical acrobatics he does to try to spin it. That's not. <laughs> we gonna let him go ahead and talk some more, man. He's trying to flip it. No matter what it said, he's gonna try to flip it into this. Let him talk some more, man. Talking about it. Because what she's talking about is a woman who is unemployed, busted, disgusted, ain't got no money, but she wants six or seven figure man. You know, she wants Bill Gates or a woman, or, or, or you know, she's talking to a woman that has no family values. No care about nobody in her family, etc. But she want a man who is a family man, who's family oriented. That makes total sense. But too often I see this exact same truth being shot at women who are bosses, who are entrepreneurs, who make plenty of money, who are doing their thing, who work hard, have ambition. And whenever that woman says, I want a man who's equally yoked, I want a man who makes six figures just like me, they're told that that money that they got, all that they work hard for, don't mean nothing. In fact, I saw a video. Let me say this part. One of the truest things ever said, and it was said by the king. It's been a long time ago, I don't know which king. Heavy is the crown. Yeah. What heavy means is the crown means it's a lot of responsibility. When you become, let's say the breadwinner, and that's as male or female of your family, it's a, it's a responsibility that comes with it. It is not an easy job. Do not complain about being the breadwinner. That's the thing that kills me about people. You can't complain about being the top spot because... You should have known to get to that top spot what you have to do and how to maintain it. Maintaining is what people really complain about more than anything else. When he's talking about the professional yeah. women. I, I say it's never talking down. It's never shooting down when a guy does it. Mm -hmm. We'll go, like I said before, dudes will go pick a hot chick up at Burger King. He's getting a lot of money. Dudes will go pick up one woman he want or he finds attractive. It's never we never throw it as talking down. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden when they get in a place of power is you don't want to complain. You're complaining now that you want to shoot, you can't shoot anybody down or talk to anybody that makes less money than you. Mm -hmm. Men in those positions always talk to women that don't have the same amount of money, that are beneath them mm -hmm. financially. Mm -hmm. It's not a big deal for them. That's why they go get the bag. Mm -hmm. They got no problem in talking to an attractive poor woman. Mm -hmm. they, it happens all the time. Mm -hmm. It's uh, It seems like it's only an issue when chicks do it and they get in a place of power. And the other part of that too, and, and I agree, the other part of that too is sometimes, okay, you do have to downgrade, right? But you, when you downgrading, well, I don't want to say downgrade. When you speak, not they call it downgrading, we're going to yeah. stick to truth. They call it downgrading. When you're talking to somebody that's not on your financial level, then you have to look for character. See, that's the, that's the issue women or having issues with. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm gonna say this and this is gonna be harsh. It is what it is. Majority of women have bad man selection. It is what it is. <laughs> but that's the problem. When you go to a higher tier, now your decision making on character of the man that you need to select should be to the utmost that you need to have. Yeah. Now, this is the other part that nobody wanna talk about. In order to get the bag, sometimes you have to be a bad guy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You have to take on the role of being the bad guy. Professional women, you have to also take on that role if you're going to be getting the bag like that. It is what it is on that. Now, that don't, yeah. mean, that don't mean shoot down every dude you talk to. It's just you got to have, have a good judge of character. If you're a CEO, you got to know what you got to do to benefit the business. I think this is my opinion mm -hmm. that people are complaining about not having it all. You're not gonna get it all. Mm -hmm. It's really that simple. Mm -hmm. You want, hey, well, I want to do the like. I was watching another Kevin Samuels again video mm -hmm. how this chick was bombing, talking about most. She was like, he dropped a stat. I gotta go look this up, but he said fifty-one percent of black males that's single. Yeah, single with no kids. Yes. The girl replied back, well, they're ugly. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 
And I'm kind of looking at her like, you ain't that, you know, good looking yourself, mama, mm -hmm. especially with no makeup. Mm -hmm. And she, he asked her what you rate herself. She said, I'm a 10. I was like, oh, yeah, delusion. Yeah, yeah. This is delusion at its finest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she said she was a 10. She was not a 10, my man. Mm -hmm. I think. So, like, I think people in our society, well, especially in these places, they're complaining about not having it all. She wants to be rich and then get the CEO above her that makes more money than her. Mm -hmm. That's handsome, good looking, six pack, have it. it. Don't work like that, bro. You living in a fantasy land. That's not <laughs> real life. I, I want a, a, a what did I say, a Brazilian volleyball <laughs> player. So fall out of the sky right now in my lap that loves me and me only. But the chance of that happening is not going to happen. <laughs> got to be the reality, people. Yeah, that's the reality of the situation. <laughs> let him keep on saying Yeah, we're going to let him spread some more man. In her business, was, was like, as soon as she said, I want a man who's on my level in this area, the attention was turned to what her face was on a one to ten, what her dress size was. Um, you know, she was a, 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 a mother or except like, come on, if women have a problem with anything, they have a problem with that. Or the woman that says, you know what, uh, I'm not only family oriented, but I'm doing the work of both me as a mom and what should be the father in my child's life. I've seen that woman get this truth of a message, and not only is that like disregarded, what's really weighted is the fact that she made a mutual decision with another man to even become a parent. That's what counts. That's where the attention goes. And it's held against her that she had enough standard for both her and her child to get herself out of a situation that wasn't fitting for either of them. I've seen that woman... Don't hate me. You're negating the first part of it. The first part of it, Derek, is if you're going to lay down with that person, you have to know them and you have to be a good judge of character. That's the thing that kills me. The women that they complain after the fact when they have a kid with a dude out of wedlock, first, first off, hey. and complain about this dude and say he's a deadbeat dad, but you lay down and let him do all this stuff to get you pregnant, that's a bad decision. And it's, it's no accountability on that part. None. None. It's, That's it, why I don't like it. This preach is no accountability. I'm mad enough to admit when I keep making bad women, so they're like, man, bro, I got to stop talking to these type of chicks. This, this, this. Exactly. I can admit that. Like, yeah, I, I was talking to this. I knew this chick wasn't this when I was talking to her. He, I don't like he's trying to like deflect accountability and make it all a man's fault. Mm -hmm. No, it's two people involved in this. And truth be told to tell you the raw truth, man, a lot of this be two douchebags together. Exactly. People don't want to admit too. that. It'd be the too. woman and the man. They both be douchebags. They just don't want people want to hear the truth on that. Mm -hmm. She ain't no princess and he ain't no knight shine on, but they both be douchebags. Mm -hmm. And it'd be a, a, a toxic situation. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm tired of these things that I'm trying to deflect and make it like everything's a man being a bad guy. That's not the truth, man. Mm -hmm. It'd be a lot of women out here with really bad character. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to highlight that. Just as much as we'll highlight a dude is a D-bag, I'm going to highlight the girl be a D-bag sometimes too. This guy just comes in peddling, it's all a male's fault. I mean, mm -hmm. She's preaching no accountability toward the woman. Uh, mm -hmm. nah, he, he, so he totally flipped that whole thing. Didn't yes. He, I, he flipped I, that whole I thing. I don't know how he keeps doing this thing where he keeps saying she gets to hold you to a standard, but you ignore ignore it on her part. He mm -hmm. keeps making that, well, you know, the problem is, like, that. she just literally saying, I'm not talking to the dude. Unless he lives up to this, this, and that. Mm -hmm. And if a dude says that back, you're somehow the bad guy. That's crazy to me. Mm -hmm. B. Simone said it best, though. She said, <laughs> you got, you want a man that know how to communicate, but you the worst communicator in <laughs> you your crew. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, it, 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 it's, it's accountability on both ends. That's that's basically what we're saying. I know sometimes people look at our show and they think I'm, I be on women real tough. Hey, I done got drugged by yeah, several yeah. girls already. Yeah, I, I done I got yelled and called everything in the book. If you look at the whole video, I always tell people, just look at the whole video. I hold, I hold everybody accountable. And, and, and the crazy important thing about holding everybody accountable is that at the end of the day, the person that's holding everybody accountable or the messenger, he's oh, the one that's Yeah, we're going to get I've killed. I've expected that. <laughs> I've, trust me, I've gotten the um, street fights and everything over just, not, I'm not even insulting people. I'm telling the truth. Mm -hmm. They ask me something, I'll tell the truth. I ain't got no bar fights, cussed out everything right now. You like, bro, all right. This, I, I accept it. The truth gonna be some hard stuff to roll with sometimes. It is what it is. Especially man. when you live in fancy land. We gonna let him talk a little more BMB, man. Let's go here. Here we go. Instead of her being measured on how quality of a mother, quality of a family woman that she was, so if women have a problem with anything, from my observation, 
I think they have a problem with that hypocrisy. Not only that, but it's like a, it's an insult to their intelligence whenever, you know, this conversation comes up and a woman says, I want this caliber of man in terms of his character, in terms of his family values. And it seems like the way that they're measured isn't on the same scale. They want men are looking for this character, et cetera, et cetera. But then whenever it comes to measuring the woman and how that woman is seen as desirable or attractive, it's all about their sexual value. It's all about how they can stroke a man's ego. They, they Smitty, what do we not view women as? We don't view women as tools of, of, of protection to provide. We, that's, that's the, if you wanna if you wanna be mad at someone that that's nature. Yes. I don't believe you a girl as go get me some money and protect me. I ain't never jumped behind a girl when something popped off. We don't view girls as a form of protection or financial stability. Mm -hmm. It's it's a call it nature, DNA or whatever. We just don't. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh the best thing I heard in the last couple of months was that uh, if you're making good money as a male, you know if whatever female you got, you're not going to use any of her money. Even if she makes more money than you. And, and, and we're talking about, when we say use some of the money, like, let's flip, the, let's flip the sexes, right? So women usually when they're with a male that's of higher value, right? They're the ones that benefit more from the resources. Because mm -hmm. male, males are just simple. We really just don't, we really don't care about the details behind. Matter of fact, we can stay in a house as long as we have a couch TV, yeah. Something to eat, something to warm up, and having a little warm in there, we good. But that's the whole thing about it. Now, women is the one. That's where women helps out at because they get the details behind everything. Yeah. That's why it's complimentary on both ends. But it, it's just people want to take it so personal on both ends. It's like, dude, it's a complimentary. Yeah, type men thing. and women compliment each other. but yeah. they, we've been broken down to where we don't view that. It's a competition instead of complimenting yes, each other. Yes, exactly. And that's exactly. why all hell's breaking loose because we're competing with each other and we're not complimenting each other. Mm -hmm. It's like. I feel like they sell modern day women try to prove that you don't need a man or you can replace him. Mm -hmm. I really know they they feel like they they market that to them. Do you want to keep on with the video? Or you want to just cut it out? I'm a man. Yeah, I'll, yeah, let's yeah. you want to let this bum talk just a little bit more, or we good? You good? I'm good. Man. You good? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't worry no more. Your B and B no way, man. This is SOS. I'm I'm squished. I'm <laughs> Please hit the like subscribe button. Also leave a comment down below. Even if we're trash on the yard. And we do not hate women. No, we don't we hate don't women. We don't hate women. I just think the modern day American culture is not too healthy for relationships. I, exactly. I almost got stabbed over saying that. <laughs> but I take my knife. Yeah. <laughs> we appreciate y'all coming to see another episode. This is Ari Alex. <laughs>